I've officially moved out of my house. I'm a big girl now. I moved out beginning of June and I've basically lived in my childhood home my entire life. Not basically, like I actually have. I've literally never lived in a different house. So I moved 20 minutes down the road <laughs> into my sister's house. My sister is my boss. I work for her. We have a social media management company together and it's actually really exciting because now my best friend also works with us and our other sister and another friend in our community. So it's really cool being able to just like walk down and go to work in our kitchen with my food with my coffee machine and all of my friends I'm just like wait <laughs> this is kind of ideal do you like working here hey, I love it it's so fun Lily, really, how are you feeling there are so many projects going on moving out was a really interesting experience it definitely I definitely cried the first two days that I was gone because I'm a very sentimental person and I love my family and I was like oh my gosh I'm never gonna live with them again that's actually not the case I actually have plans to maybe move back in because my sister might be getting married soon it's a whole thing I want to show y'all what my life at this house has been like this house is called Harold like Without a doubt, every day, it is called Harold. Every person we've ever met, every business partner, every friend, every relative has called this house Harold. I decided when we first bought the house, I was like, you know what, we need like a quirky name to describe this house. And I was like, Harold. It just came out and everyone was like, okay. And since then, somehow we've convinced like adult women, adult men, to just call the house Harold. We don't even have to try it. It's just like, oh, the house is called Harold, and they're just like, oh, okay. And people just like refer to it. It's so weird. I've never seen this like kind of agreement. <laughs> Is that a word? Like throughout this many people, like everyone's just like, yeah, it's Harold. My parents, my grandfather even calls it Harold. It's crazy. Here is my view. Oh, all right. I still don't really know how to work these things. I've never had blinds before so beautiful i love the fountain and the green i didn't do anything to it before filming this video because i want to show y'all exactly what my life is like so my room pretty much always looks the same i'm a very like orderly person everything's always like in its place the only thing that's out of place right now is these two things this external usually goes right here i really like this room i get the upstairs pretty much all to myself because my sister and our roommate is downstairs and they don't really come upstairs a lot, so it's really nice. I have like a lot of space. First things first, I always leave my shoes at the door. I only brought three pairs of shoes over with me because I'm not a big shoe person. I kind of just like, I like to repeat and wear like the same shoes every day because I don't like thinking about it, you know? So I always leave them at the door. My fanny packs are on this little hook. These hooks are awesome. I got them for so, so, so cheap from Amazon and I got like, I think six of them or something. So that's super slay. My shelves here are great. I keep all of my like important stuff and all of my books. Well, actually, most of these books aren't mine per se. They're like my family's and like we're kind of just storing them here. So I use this little thingy every single day. This is all my tech stuff for the social media management job that I do. We have like externals and SD cards and like craziness. This is my little chair. I always sit and play guitar here. I love it. So this is my old computer. I'm trying to find a way to like do something with it. I don't really know what I'm gonna do because like who wants an old computer but also it's not like broken enough to like just get rid of it. I don't know what to do. I leave this bag here pretty much all the time. There'll be an occasional like day or two where I'm able to like go and hang this up in my closet but I pretty much leave the house every day for long periods of time so I end up having to bring like snacks, a computer, a charger, like everything. I'm definitely not the kind of person who knows how to stay still. Like I'm always out and like running around and Having a bag is really great. It just like keeps everything that I need in one place. But I, it's so funny, like I'm not a bag person at all. I hate having bags. It feels like so much like baggage. Cause it, I mean, it literally is, but oh, I hate like that. So when I get to leave the house with just like my fanny pack on, I feel so free. I'm just like, yes, I don't have to care about anything else. Okay, one thing I don't love about living here is our ice machine. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> it's very constipated. Like it'll like yes. grind and grind and then. <laughs> Here I have the coffee that I just made, which is really good. For my diffuser, basically you have to fill it up with water. So I bought this little bottle off Amazon when I first moved here to keep water in here. Right now there's literally none, but I'm supposed to have this filled at all times. And so every time I want to light my diffuser, 
I just come over here and that's my little diffuser right there. I leave my speaker here though because I pretty much use this every single day. Like when I'm getting ready for the day, when I'm showering, when I'm stretching, everything. Over here by my bed, I always keep some oils. I guess I'm oil obsessed. I didn't realize that I was until just now. Um, I have my new computer. I had to buy a new computer and I just got it and I'm so happy. And I found this sticker. And it's beautiful. <laughs> don't ask who that is. I don't know. I have some important books down here that I use like pretty much every day and a journal. And then here is my bed. It's actually the exact same bedding and formation that was in my house previously. Although this bedding actually is getting kind of old. I've started to notice. You can't even see it on camera. I started to notice like random stains and I'm like literally where did that come from? So I think I might have to get some new bedding sometime soon. I did buy these new sheets because this is a queen bed. My bed at home was a double and these are the softest sheets. Like everyone who's stayed over with me is like, Annie, where'd you get those sheets? They're from Target. They were really expensive, but they're so comfy. At the end of my bed, I always have my like disgusting baby blanket. I just can't. I just can't get rid of this thing. Like, yeah, it's like it's supposed to be pink and it's like kind of brownish now, but it's okay. It's okay. She's still cute. Okay, so then I have a fan, which is not an aesthetic and not, like, by choice. For some reason, the AC up here is, like, so bad. I mean, I know that it's upstairs, so it's, like, heat rises. I'm literally a science girl. But that is not good for me. I've always slept in really cold environments. Like, I've always had, like, multiple fans and the AC on, and, like, it's always been really cold. And so... I got that fan pretty early on living here because I was like waking up sweating and I was like, this is not how I want to start the day. I have my laundry hamper here. I had to get this because I used to be like a few feet from my laundry machine, but now I have to go all the way downstairs. And so I have to carry it in this little laundry hamper. Then I have some photos. Okay, so then here's my closet. It's pretty nice. I mean, back at home, I had like a walk-in closet. And so that was like really nice, but I honestly have liked this type of closet because i can see everything and i couldn't not see everything in my old closet but i don't know i just feel like this closet has really worked for me it's easier to see everything when it's like close together i used another one of these hooks that i got from amazon to hang up my bag and this is where i hang up that little cream bag whenever i'm able to okay but the real interesting thing okay so lighting up here is not i didn't move here for the lighting i'm not gonna lie um <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> i'm just being real i'm just being real and authentic okay and myself i'm being myself okay so when i first moved here my first priority was figuring out where to put my coffee stuff because the whole kitchen downstairs is available but i was like well i'm gonna want my coffee like right next to my bedroom my mother who is amazing and so talented she just like built this little cabinet for me and i brought all of my coffee stuff over bringing all of these jars was a pain they were so loud like no matter what formation i put them in they would just clink and jingle and it was a 20 minute drive and I think I almost went insane. Um, but I have my Nespresso machine, which I'm obsessed with. My coffee is so good. I have my syrups, which I don't really use because I don't really like sweet coffee. I have espresso cups, coffee stirs. I mean, it could not be more beautiful. My mom did such a good job and uh, I'm so happy. Okay, here's my bathroom. It's not very exciting. Okay, so style wise, there's not a lot going on in this room and Oh, you can like see that I'm using my phone to prop up my camera. <laughs> the ghetto. Oh, that's okay. That's just gonna hang out there. Don't mind that. Um, this room is very like neutral. I low-key didn't really want to do anything crazy with this room because I knew that like living here was gonna be temporary. Just I just wanted to be here for the summer. Like I knew that it was gonna be really good for me as a person to like grow up and develop. And um, I'm excited to move back though because like I just it's different living in a house where you have like next door neighbors right next to you and only like a tiny bit of grass like that's totally it's awesome like i there's nothing wrong with it at all i do just really love being in like the trees though and having lots of grass and lots of room to like wander around i will say being here has been so nice because it is so close to everything my parents house it's only 20 minutes away but it's 45 minutes from like anything at all and this house is like 15 minutes to everything. And so it's like a quick little drive. There's also like gas right by our house. So when I'm on empty and I'm like, <laughs> but I don't feel like getting gas. Like I always know, well, the second I leave the house, even if I'm on empty, like there'll be gas. <laughs> so that's been great. It's just been an interesting experience living here. And I do go back and visit my family a lot, but there have been weeks where I haven't been able to at all. And I've been like completely just here on my own. And there have also been times where my sister has been traveling and my roommate's been at a friend's house and I've been here all by myself. 
making sure like the stove isn't accidentally on, my curling iron isn't accidentally on, the trash gets put out, the door's actually locked. At my parents' house, we don't lock the doors. We're in the middle of nowhere. You don't need to lock the doors. It's just a very different experience and I've been loving it and I'm really happy that I made some coffee this afternoon and I'm happy to check in with y'all and give you my little life update and show you what my life has been like.